This video covers motor retention in the level two. Uh, the kit does not come with a motor retainer. It's kind of optional. It's up to you whether you want to put a retainer on. Um, it will take both the uh, aero pack and the lock or anybody else that makes a 54 millimeter uh, retainer. Uh, what you do is, you know, clean off any paint or residue on the outside of the tube of the motor mount. Um, and then you're going to slather epoxy up on this end on the inside and then around the perimeter here. And then you're going to push them together, clean off any epoxy that oozes out. You want to do that and just use alcohol. It cleans up pretty easy. Um, once that's bonded in, um, you're going to have a 54 millimeter motor. Um, Aerotech and Cesaroni, they'll all fit um, on the retainers or, or whatever. Um, you'll just slide that in like that and then just screw on the cap. Uh, when you're done launching, just unscrew the cap. Yeah, I didn't unscrew. <laughs> unscrew the cap. I took the, uh, <laughs> the after closure off too because um, this is not a full motor. Um, and then uh, you're ready to put it in the next one. If you're not using, I need that top. <laughs> if you're not using uh, a motor retainer like that, you can use masking tape. I've used masking tape and it does work. Um, it's not as nice, obviously, uh, but you'll put your motor in just like that. And then you're going to take strips of masking tape. And I, I recommend shorter strips so that you can come in like this um, and then wrap it around. Make sure you got it um, wrapped around the tube and overlapping that motor mount tube, that fiberglass tube. Um, and then any tape that sticks over the edge, kind of push it down like that. Um, and that's going to lock it in. And then just do that all the way around the motor. to do it upside down. <laughs> Normally you'd be on the field and doing it like this and it's easy to see. Um, so once it's once it's down, that's locked in place. That's not going to come out. Um, some people are worried that the tape is going to break. I've never really had that happen. Um, the only time I've had tape failure is if I don't get enough tape on the, the motor tube that projects out. Um, you need, you know, half the tape on the, uh, the end cap and then half of it on the tube where the motor slides into. Um, and it should hold it in there just fine. Um, so at this point, uh, we're ready to take it out to the field and launch this puppy. <laughs> so my name is Tim Van Milligan. This is the level two rocket kit from Apogee. Our website is www.apogeerockets.com. Thanks for watching. May the winds be light. May the skies be blue. May all your rockets fly straight and true.